Hey, this is the c and Chow. I'm Chris. This is Dave, the guy I keep beating in uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And this is MMA for you. Um, we're going to be doing our, our prediction for UFC on versus 4, Marquardt versus Story. It was originally supposed to be Marquardt versus Anthony Rumble Johnson, but Rick Story has uh, taken uh, the place of an injured Anthony Johnson. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors, GoBusiness123.com, and who else, man? The Maka sunglasses and Nakuna Beach. Look, it's so light. You see how light it is? It's how pretty it is? It's so light. I don't even feel it's on with me and I can bend it like this. What kind of sunglasses you can bend like this, huh? Yep, so that's uh, DeMarcus Sunglasses, right? Yep. Where's that at? In the Naguna Beach. Yep, the DeMarcus Sunglasses, right? I gotta help your mom and pop shop. Yep, you got it, man. So, yeah, let's get to this. Um, we'll start with the prelim card and go on to the main card. Mm -hmm. First fight of the night, we got tough alumni Michael Johnson gonna fight Edward Falolito. I got uh, Michael Johnson winning this one. He's actually a prospect, he's like 8 and 5 now. Uh, Michael Johnson, his striking looked really good against Brookins, and he does have good wrestling. Um, he's, he's someone to look out for. He, he's a prospect. I, I think he has potential. Cool. Next fight after that, we got the returning Matt Grice. Going to fight Ricardo Lamas from the WEC. I got Ricardo Lamas winning this one. Yeah. Next fight after this, I really hope Charles Oliveira, the Bronx, beats uh, Nick Lentz. Oh, man. I, Nick Lentz, I have a feeling he's going to try to take down Oliveira. Uh, I I hope that Olivier was just get, gonna find something and just sweep and whatnot. Uh, Olivier does have the better striking. I want him to put down Nick Lentz and why win. You, why you hate Nick so much? Nick Lentz has this really bad stigma with him now as being a boring fighter. That's so. that, that, that still <laughs> don't, don't deserve that much hatred. I know he do, he actually doesn't. But there's one fight against Andre Winner where he got he became a much hated fighter by wall installing a lot of times. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I see and Olivier is a really awesome prospect to look out for. Look out for this kid, man. He he lost to Jim Miller, but man, watch out for this kid. He's great. All right. Okay. Next fight after that, we got Charlie Brunman versus T.J. Grant. Uh, I like T.J. Grant. He he's a good fighter. He's solid. Really good jiu-jitsu. Mm -hmm. I got Charlie Brennan winning, especially with uh, superior wrestling. Okay, you just tell me TJ going solid and all of a sudden pick the other guy. Yeah, the other guy's solid too. I mean, he has good wrestling. He's fought some good guys. He's done well against like Hendricks. He's beat guys like Jason High. Um, Brennan's a solid guy. Okay. Yeah. Next right after that, we got Rich Antonito going to fight at 170. He's fight at middleweight versus Matt the Immoral Brown. Oh. Let's go with Matt Brown. He's on like a three-fight losing streak. I love this guy. It's, more, it's an emotional pick, but I think he does have the goods to stop Rich Antonito here. It's absolutely an emotional pick. I pick Matt too. Yeah. Okay, next fight after that, we got Joe Lozon versus Kurt Verbonen. Joe uh, Lozon, right? Joe Lozon by Superior Submissions and uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Absolutely. Yeah. The next fight after that, Joe Stevenson is going to fight Javier Vasquez. Of course, Joe Stevenson. Emotional pick goes to Joe Stevenson. He is getting to 145 for the first time. He is on a three-fight losing streak, losing to George Sotaropoulos, getting knocked out by Mac Danzig, and um, losing to uh, a Team Alpha Male guy. I totally forgot his name. Castilla. I think it was Danny Castilla, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, Javier Vasquez is one of the top... Brazilian Jiu Jitsu instructors in American Top Team, if I'm not mistaken. I still got Joe Stevenson winning this. Emotional pick. You sure? I think he's going to lose, but. Uh. Yeah. Uh. So, what's, what's wrong with that guy, man? I don't know. Against um, George Sadaropoulos, is a better fighter. Yeah, let's that's, 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 that's not talk about that. Danzig. Man. He had a bad game plan. He didn't grapple. He just said throw a lot of ran rights and got countered for it. Okay. And finally, against Castillo, he just got like out wrestled and just out gamed. Like he, he got beaten in his own game for some reason. So what's what's your suggestion for him? Wrestle. I hope he gets. I I hope he gets this man. I I, I, I love. I really like Joe Daddy. Joe Daddy. He's a good guy. Come on, you can do this. He's, he's in usually good fights. I like the guy. I want him to win this one. All right, next. Next fight after that, we got another guy cutting down to 145 as Tyson Griffin is going to fight Manny Gambarian. Tyson Griffin. <laughs> Tyson Griffin. 
Tyson Griffin was a pretty good 155er, as it is. Uh, he lost to Gomi, of course. Um, he got knocked out. He, he's, I, I want to say he's on a losing streak right now. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I still got him winning this one. I think he's going to put the pressure on Manny. I think he's got, he has some good, you know, Tyson Griffin's got some decent kick. He's a good wrestle boxer. I think he can get the takedown on Manny. And I think he might even be able to outstrike him. Manny's got some power. He's got some great judo. I just think, I just think uh, Tyson's going to put the pressure on Manny. Uh -huh. Hey, we're on to the main card now. We got some heavy, a lot of, uh, we got some heavyweights here as Duke Rufus's uh, Matt Mitrion is going to fight Christian World World of Warcraft. Well, who is your pick? I got Meathead, man. This guy is on a four fight win streak. He's one of the guys to beat Kimbo Slice. It's not that great. <laughs> so was MS was being impressed or what? He just beat Tim Hag recently. He KO'd that guy. Meathead is looking really good. He's lying on his feet for a heavy he's a big heavyweight. He's got some monster power and he's looking a lot better. His hands are looking great. He kicks a lot, man, and he moves well for his size. Too old for you, Meathead. Meathead. That's yeah. it. That's all you need to know. I think it's one word. But uh, anyways. <laughs> Oh no, I mean it could be considered two words, okay. You got a problem with me today? I got a problem because I know you're picking John Howard to beat Martin Campman here. Is that something wrong? Dude, Martin Campman fought guys like Jake Shields, Diego Sanchez, Paul Daly. Uh -huh. He's fought superior, uh, beat Paulo Tiago. Uh huh. He's beat superior competition. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> so? <laughs> and I think he is actually the better striker when he doesn't fight to the other guy's game plan. That's the only problem with Martin Campman. Against Shield, he wants to grapple with him. Against Diego, he brawled with him. Against pa Daly, he strikes with him. Martin, stick with the game plan. You Do won't. not fight to the other guy's game plan. Just follow you me. will win. Follow it's me. Yeah. Please do not brawl with John Howard. He you has die. more power than you. you. You might have... You can strike with him, utilizing a jab and good boxing. Just don't get into flurries with Come him. Come on. That, that's, that's fight power with a power, right? So John will kick your ass. Uh, I got Martin Catman. Man, please. He got, and I think I think uh, he beat Diego Sanchez, to be perfectly honest. He got Garcia there. Garcia is the term where a guy is going forward, punching air, getting countered, but seeing it's winning the round because of aggression. That the term is Garcia. So I like that. I think that because Leonard Garcia is well known for doing that. And I don't think he means to, I think it's just bad judging more so than anything else. Okay, next fight we got Pat H. D. Barry versus the guy I call Cup Check Congo here. Check Congo. Dude, this guy knees people in the balls and just like every fight. He grabs people's shorts. He actually lost. He got. He was winning against Travis Brown, but then he got a point off for grabbing shorts. <laughs> and the guy it's is. It's a bad habit. You got problems. <laughs> I don't know. It's not. It's against the rules, bro. I know. You can't fight like this, and he keeps doing it too. I think every fight he's been in, he's kneed his opponent in the balls. That Barry has some great leg kicks, man. I don't, want him to to don't. knock his. I want. I don't want Pat Barry to knock his block off, man. I hope that he strikes with him like he did against Anthony Hardong. Uh, who, who do you have in this? Uh, uh Chuck Conkle. Bastard. <laughs> Chuck Conkle. <laughs> well, all right, because he's going to knee him in the nuts and punch him in the face and win that way. Oh, okay, he just because he has a bad hobby doesn't mean he's not good. He's, he's a good striker. He's a good striker. He's a legitimately yeah. disciplined, good, he's heavy striker. He's a disciplined striker. Sometimes just, you know, accident happen, right? Uh, right? Let's just get to the next fight, man. Okay. Okay, we got the main event of the night as Nate the Great Marquardt is going to fight Rick the Horror Story. The Horror Boss Story got to lose. I kind of want him to. I want Mark Park. I want Mark Park Park to win. I, I want him to win. So but why do you story? I'm pick story here. Why? Here's my thing. Okay, story is taking the fight on week notice. Or week, uh, just a couple weeks notice. So he's not ready. However, Nate Mark Park is making his first cut to 170. 
Oh, the the other shirt. thing. Damn it. Here's the other thing. I know these aren't the guy, same weight class, but Mar Nate Marquardt has shown susceptible to being pressured, especially oh, yeah. against Chael Sonnen and Yusin Okami. Yeah, Rick right. Story's um, fighting style is all about pressing guys up against a cage, forcing that takedown, and just you know going go forward. But Nate Marquardt has shown susceptible to that style, and that's why I'm picking Rick Story to win that one. But Nate Marquardt, though, very well-rounded fighter. Yeah, good striking, good jiu-jitsu, good wrestling. If he can get off first, he can win. Rick Story's just going to keep plugging forward, though. Yeah, I know. And Marquardt's going to have to watch out for that. Doesn't matter if it's a different weight class. Rick Story's a big 170-er himself. Yeah. And probably could find a middleweight himself. So, um... Nate, just thing. watch out, dude. Stay away I'm, from... I'm going... I'm, I'm going to root for Nate Marquardt, but I have a feeling Story is going to take it. Both, uh, there are some cardio issues with Rick Story, as shown in the Tiago Alves fight. In the third round, he's just getting blasted. But with Marquardt, you know, um, he's cutting 170 for the first time. Yeah, Possible that's cardio that's issues there, too. Big, big no no. Oh, yeah. well. Nate! Nah. Rick, uh, actually, I'll, I'll go with Nate, too. Nate, right? yeah, <laughs> Nate, nah, nah, come on. Huh. We, we, so. know, we know the truth, but uh, mm -hmm. still, nice. So, yeah, uh, that's it for uh, MMA for you. I'm Chris. This is Dave, my uh, grappling dummy here. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what's wrong with you today, man? What do you mean, man? Uh, Jesus Christ, you keep up with insulting me, huh? <laughs> yeah, huh? I don't know you got a problem with me? <laughs> just say it. Just say it. <laughs> is it the glasses? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. Must be the glasses, huh? Guess. How come I cannot knock this person down? Oh. oh. <laughs> I hit the back of the head, that's illegal. Just like dear man cut check Congo. I'm yeah. Boss attack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hit there too, buddy. Hit there too. Okay, that's it for the C and D channel. Please leave any comments uh, or anything. Uh, you, you guess directly out of the way, I gotta beat this guy out. Take him.